FBI Director Christopher Wray made headlines this week when he told the Wall Street Journal that he sees parallels between the challenge posed by these cyber attacks, these ransomware attacks, and 9-11. He's not comparing the loss of life, but in terms of the challenge. You told Congress last month that you think the energy sector needs to do better at defending itself against cyber threats. And just so people understand, most of the energy sector, most of how we get power in this country is the private sector. It's not, it's not government. Do you think that adversaries of the United States have the capability right now to shut down the power grid? Uh, yeah, they do. I mean, I think that there are very malign actors who are trying, even as we speak, there are thousands of attacks on all aspects of the energy sector and the private sector generally. I mean, the meat plant, for example. We, it's happening all the time. And this is why the private sector and the public sector have to work together. And this is what the president is doing. He's working with our allies. He's working with countries around the world because other countries, even Russia, they don't want to see their sectors attacked by malign actors by rogue uh, non-state actors, not to mention state actors. So working with other countries, working with the private sector, working inside of our own government, the president has issued these executive orders to make sure that our own house is in order, making sure that citizens are able to protect themselves. My mother, who's 86 years old, got two weeks ago, got a, t a cyber, you know, uh, not a ransomware, but she, you know, was was hacked. So the bottom line is, we we have all got to up our game with respect to our cyber defenses. Mm -hmm. The president is doing that, his executive order. And just to quickly say, you know, on the pipelines, because the pipelines were a concern, obviously, the TSA, which actually regulates the pipelines, has now required the pipelines to report cyber incidents to the to the federal government so that we at least have we have intel but the bottom line is people whether you're private sector public sector whatever you shouldn't be paying ransomware attacks because it only encourages the bad guys all right shalom first and foremost as always I want to give all praise honor and glory unto yahweh bahashem yahushan bahashem Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone the talking is truth and much respect to the brothers out there laboring in his work and also to the believers scattered across the four corners of the earth the hope for elect in the usa shalom quick lesson through the spirit is you know done with the topic at hand you know the threat <laughs> that's in place at the forefront pretty much of uh you know the mainstream media which would be you know cyber attacks and we've seen these stage cyber attacks as we know that they are staged all right uh against the food supply the gas, all right, and also the water, and so on and so forth. And it's gonna get to the point to where they're just gonna turn the whole fucking thing off. They're gonna turn the lights out and everything. <laughs> and so as these people think that they're gonna get back to normal, all right, they think that they're going back to a normal lifestyle. And uh, they had pretty much defeated the crack one nine. Well, they're gonna be in for a rude awakening as they uh, have been lofted back to sleep by the weight of uh, not understanding what's coming. And this is why you must have a vision to see, you know, what's to come. Because we know through the spirit that, um, you know, great terror and great evil is going to come upon this place, America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, you see. And so we're not sleeping as others. We understand we're at the end <laughs> of this rulership in America, you see. So it's going to go out with a bang, man. It's going to go out with a bang. We understand these elites have one goal, and that's to get everyone chipped. And that's what this article pretty much goes into, is they try to, you know, move forward with their fourth industrial revolution. And it's going to come by the way of order ab chaos, all right? Uh, order out of chaos. They create the chaos, and they bring in the order, or problem, reaction, and solution. <laughs> So the ultimate solution, again, would be the implementation of a digital identity, the chip, Revelation 13 and 16, the mark of the B. All right, so yeah, we in that time. So the sociable, that's what this um, article, all right, that's the title of it. <clears throat> it says, prep for a cyber pandemic, cyber polygon 2021 to stay supply chain attack simulation. Will Cyber Polygon 2021 be as prophetic as Event 201 in simulating a pandemic response perspective? 
Because if you uh, realize or notice, you know, they did a simulation right before the uh, the crack one nine. All right. And right after that, you had the, the pandemic. So here we go again, the same scenario. This time they talking about the power grid. So they about to do it. See? So let's read some of this. It says a World Economic Forum, WEF, will stage another cyber attack exercise as it continues to prep for a potential cyber pandemic. The founder Klaus Schwab says will be the worst, will be worse than the current global crisis. All right, and this guy, Klaus Schwab, <clears throat> if you didn't know or see, you know, he said back in 2016 that 10 years from now, everyone was going to be chipped. So this is their ultimate goal to get everyone, you know, chipped up. All right. So scroll on down a little bit. And I'm going to put this in the uh, the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. It's a lot of information in it, but I kind of want to get to the point. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, we'll just start right here. It says, as the digital world encroaches on our physical and biological worlds, an effective cyber attack could compromise anything connected to the Internet, including right, your medical devices that keep people alive, <laughs> the Internet of Things, the ecosystem of connected devices that run smart homes, you know, cameras, microphones, and sensors, etc. The Internet of Bodies, ecosystem of digitally connected humans. Damn digitally connected humans, <laughs> global financial systems, energy grids, water treatment facilities, governments, IT systems, military and defense, infrastructure, and more. All right. Currently, the only way to stop the exponential propagation of a crack-like cyber attack threat, according to the WF, is to fully disconnect the millions of vulnerable devices from one another. All right. From one another and from the internet. Hmm. But a single day without the internet would cost our economies more than $50 billion, and that's before considering economic and social damages should these devices be linked to essential services such as transports or healthcare. All right. Now let's, uh, <laughs> let's continue reading. All right, the crack one nine crisis will be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack by right, Klaus Schwab. Needless to say, a cyber pandemic would wreak havoc on nearly all aspects of society. And that's what these damn devils want, man. Let me start right there, because the scripture tell you that they, you know, this is, this is all they think about. All right. Let's go to the book of Micah 2 real quick. Micah 2 and 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity. You see? And were evil upon their beds. When the morning's light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And it's talking about these bankers, man, these world leaders. So let's read the uh, New Living Translation to the right. It says, Judgment against wealthy oppressors. <laughs> it says, What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking of evil plans? You see, you rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out simply because you had a power to do so. You see that? So this is talking about you damn devils, man. All right. I'm going back into the um, article. All right. <laughs> it says, however, the devil is in the details. Damn right. All right. And who is the damn devil? It's Esau, the so-called white man, the bankers, along with the rest of the nation of Esau. Okay. So however, the devil is in the details and the solutions recommended for a cyber pandemic could be far more detrimental to individual liberty than the cyber attack itself. All right. Let's see here. Let's kind of get to the point real quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's read this at the top because it goes into Russia. It says, the exercise featured two parallel tracks, a live stream for a mass audience and technical training for cybersecurity specialists and 120 of the largest Russian and international organizations from 29 countries joined the technical training to practice, see, to practice <laughs> uh, response to a targeted attack aimed at hacking community data 
and undermining his reputation. And they, they doing nothing but rehearsing, man. All right, they're rehearsing what they want to do, and uh, this is going to go down. And as you can see, Russia is also entangled within that too, man. And what do you see on the media, all right? Anytime there's a cyber attack, who are they blaming it on? They blame it on Russia, all right? Either Russia or China. And so Russia, even though they're not a part of the B system, they do have some kind of, you know, entanglement with the B system. You see? So we'll see what this leads to. All right. Let's see. Let's get to the point. All right. Let's get to the point. It says governments will inevitably move towards digital identity scheme. You see that? Speaking of cyber, Polygon 2020, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair stated with confidence, you see, it's like Carl Schwab. <laughs> in 10 years from now, everyone will have a chip. So this guy also stated with confidence. And why is that? Because he understand the chaos is going to come from these planned events, these plans, these planned famines. All right. These planned uh, uh, water shortages, food shortages, you know, there's going to be a shortage on everything. And they're going to have all the resources and you're not going to be able to do anything unless you come to them and you see that chip, you see. So this is why they got the confidence in that. All right. So again, Tony Blair stated with confidence that governments are absolutely inevitably and moving in the direction of digital identity adoption. And that's going to be the chip, man. Digital ID for me is a very big part of the future. All right. Digital identity is a major component of WEF's Great Reset Agenda. See that? <laughs> agenda. So this thing was playing, right? As it relates to transformative technologies powering the fourth industrial revolution. Okay? It's the merging of man with machine. You see that? So this word transformative right here. All right? I got that definition kind of pulled up over here. And, um... <laughs> and Google all right transformative it says causing a marked change in someone or something you see <laughs> causing a marked change in someone or something so that this thing is totally spiritual as you know revelation 13 and 16 speaks about right the mark all right which these people have to take to function you're not going to be able to eat or sell or, or buy or none of that stuff man unless you had this mark so this mark is going to change you. It's going to create, it's going to, you know, uh, uh, turn you into a severe slave. And that's what these elites want, man. You're going to turn you into the ultimate slave. So going back into it. All right. It says a digital identity keeps a record of everything you do online, including what you share on social media. The websites you visit and your smartphone's geolocation, and it can house all of the credentials you would normally find in a physical wallet, such as your driver's license, insurance card, and credit cards. And everything is coming to light, man. We've been telling you that the chip was going to have from the head apostle to hard on down, you know, a great millstone. And the brothers with the like mind dodge. We've been telling you that. Everything will be included upon this digital identity, this chip, man. So here it is, you know. It says in this talk. Let me see. Here. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put this in in, in the, in the uh, description box below so you can check it out. But to uh, pretty much put it simple, this is the digital identity, all right? This is gonna be the thing that's gonna be attached to you. It's going to have all your records on it. All of your records. It says your smart cities, your, your, your telecommunications. All right, your e-government, social platforms. What else you got? E-commerce. You know, you got the humanitarian response. That travel and mobility. Food and su sustainability, all right? Food and sustainability for farmers and consumers to verify, all right? Providence to up produce to enhance value and traceability and supply chains. All right, we know that Bill Gates has bought up all that foreign land and now they continually buying it up. So, this is for that purpose. Financial services, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell without this damn chip <laughs> to open bank accounts, 
carry out online financial transactions. All right, so yeah, everything's gonna be on that chip, man. So that's pretty much that's pretty much all I need to get. You know, this is a, a good read. I just put it in the link in the description box below so you can check it out. But this is what they're playing. This is gonna crash everything and uh, put these people in the hole to the point of where they're gonna bow down to this uh, this B system, man. But we understand, all right? For the elect, uh, we've been chosen to uh, uh, see salvation. Lord willing, we endure, you know? It's like, yeah. So Isaiah 65 and verse 13. Therefore, all right, thus saith the Lord, Yehowah by Shemel Shah, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Now, who's going to be hungry? <laughs> this is the two thirds of Israel, you so called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans that did not obey the gospel, pursuing the first Peter 4 and 17. All right. So it says, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right, because the Lord's going to leave you over into your ruins, man. You're not going to have any covering in that day, you know, if you did not repent. All right. And to further prove that, you know, let's go to Revelations. Revelations 3 and verse 10. All right, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is society collapsing. No food, no water. All right? <laughs> Being tempted to take in a chip. It says, which shall come upon all the world. It's going to be a worldwide event to try them to dwell upon the earth. You see that? So this is what's coming. Let's read it in the New Living Translation. It says, because you have obeyed my command. All right? To uh, persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. That's so bad right there. You see? So, for the ones that did not uh, take heed to the doctrine, then, you know, you're going to be stuck, man. You're going to have no cover. First Peter 4 and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be on them that obey not the gospel? All right, so what's going to be your end if you obey not the gospel? All right, you didn't believe in the 2 chart sign. <laughs> you know, you didn't believe uh, that the, the mark, you know, was the chip. You see, these are things that are going to kill you or get you killed in a time of tribulation because you did not believe it to hold testimony full hardly you see so judgment is beginning at the Israelites first and what's going to be the end of you who obey and not the gospel death and destruction right? that's what's coming to two thirds man unless you repent and believe the gospel so dead Lord willing you edify to next time Shalom